Ojo Aba Meta Meta, third Saturday in October, 29th in Seawall, Galveston, Texas. Galveston, formerly known as Turtle Island, was a marketplace block for selling human cargo during the transatlantic slave trade. That cargo was many of our ancestors who never chose to be enslaved. We must not let this truth of history be revised, and there were others of our ancestors who were already here, drying their eyes from trails of tears. Fourth Saturday in Autumn Equinox, Libra Season 3rd Decan, Harvest Season, the season where Onine, or the Spirit of Mother Earth, thins the veil between Orun, Heaven, and Earth. Aye. The collective voice of our ancestors amplify their presence, hence All Hallows Eve, Halloween, Dia de los Muertos, and Sankofa, the caravan to the ancestors. These celebrations all fall like leaves off a tree during this season. Sankofa. It means to go back. It means to go back to give thanks and praises to the Creator, regardless of the name in which we call Him Her. To remember our ancestors, the ones we know not by name, and their ultimate sacrifice. We go back to remember our recent ancestors and the wisdom their lives left behind. We go back to reflect on where we've been, to be clearer on where we are headed. And this is my personal diary of the last decade of experiences while attending the Sankofa Caravan to the Ancestors, hosted by the Houston chapter of the National Black United Front, and how these experiences changed my life. I'm Ayansa J. Muse, and you are watching and listening to Sankofa Mewa, the diary of ten caravans. Ashe. Sankofa 2012. Absent in warning. Pataki Onimi Ojo Abameta Owara Ogum Odunibawa Mejila. Warundi Lagbono Joe Baoru. Translate. Diary. Today is Saturday, October 20th, 2012, 29 days into autumn equinox. The day vibrated on an eight, a day of infinite possibilities. The moon was waxing in the 10th house of Capricorn, and it was a five year, ideal for finding self. I didn't attend the 15th annual Sankofa Caravan to the Ancestors this year. It was themed Living in the Principles of My Heart. I missed because I was grieving a new ancestor, as well as the death of life as I knew it, and the death of the me that I recognized. I wanted to see no one, and wanted no one to see me in the dark space I was in. I was well aware that there were snakes in the community calling me sister, even evil enough to find joy in the pain of others. I could hear the waters calling me, but I was in too much pain to answer her call. That may have been the time I needed to be there the most, but then I didn't know any better, and as a result, my life and my energy were heavier the entire year that I missed caravan. This was a year for me in mourning, and so I let it be. But even my absence was proof that the ancestral presence was awakened, strong, embedded, and was not going back to sleep because I could hear them speaking to me throughout the entire year and how important it was for me to be at the water next caravan. And so, I marked my calendar the day after I missed. Ashe. Sankofa 